Live from Harbor Station, it's the Vector Spaceman Show. Now here's your host, Vector Spaceman. Hello, space cadets. How you do? How are things going tonight? It's your old pal, Vector Spaceman. We're back at it again, coming to you live once more straight from Harbor Station, broadcasting on all frequencies to our beautiful planet Earth. Now, whether you're watching us live or catching us after the show, don't you know, we're glad to have you on board. Thanks for helping us make outer space the place to be. On tonight, Wednesday, July 12th, 2023, welcome back, space cadets. And if you're just tuning in for the first time tonight, then hey, welcome aboard. It's another fine day to be Vector Space Man, your host of the Vector Space Man Show. We're here tonight to continue our journey through New World in the genre revitalizing indie title, Cassette Beasts. Get your Walkmans out, get those cassettes rewound, grab your favorite mixtapes, and let's do some quests as we continue to find new critters and smash them all together in this novel monster collecting title. Stay tuned for that. Now, if you missed the last show, we welcomed on a brand new guest for a brand new game for an evening of learning, learning how to get games to run properly, learning how to walk and talk, learning how to follow simple on-screen instructions. It was it was a blast. We had Kura Isagami, fellow virtual streamer and host of the Metaroto News Network, on the program as our co-op compatriot in the robo-centric puzzle game Bikehead. We had a swell time, got about halfway through the game, and we'll be having him back on in the near future to catch up and cap off on our escapades. And so, of course, if you want to stay up to date with all of our broadcasts so that you never, ever miss a show, then be sure to follow Vector Spaceman on Twitter, YouTube, and, of course, right here on Twitch. Happy Wednesday, everyone. Welcome back to the show. Welcome aboard, everybody. No way, is that Jammy giving the intro? Yes, that was Jammy, our Galaxy Jam, which our commander, as it were, indeed. We've got a whole, we got a whole slew of audio cues that I've had people record over the, over the year and, and change that we've been doing this. So we like to mix it up at the start of every show. But yes, that was Jammy. Excellent ear, excellent ear. Oh, thank you, thank you. Welcome to the show, Poppy Seeds. Nice to see you. Now, do I feel a bit exhausted today, Space Cadets? Yeah. Kind of. It's one of those weeks. But we're powering through. We're doing our best. I know you're all doing your best too, Space Cadets. When life gets heavy on you, it's alright to relax. When you feel that you have to, take some time, take a breath, and when you're good, you hop right back into action. You got this. That's the kind of attitude that we're bringing tonight. As we get into part two of our playthrough of Cassette Beasts, we still got plenty of story left to experience, no doubt, and dozens of titular cassette beasts to encounter. When we first tried this game out last week, we ran into monsters and allies and archangels and, and, and real estate developers. It's been a wild ride. Looking forward to seeing what the game's got in store for us tonight. Might not be a, a super long stream, but we'll make the most of it. All the while, of course, we'll be chit-chatting with the space cadets, so drop us a comment in the chat. Let us know how you're doing, how your week's been going. And if you've played Cassette Beasts before yourself, then let us know what you think makes for a good monster combo. We're still finding digital companions that fit our style as we get a hang on some of the game's fresh mechanics. You've never even heard of this game? Well, you're in for a treat. As, as, as a resident resident expert on the title now, I guess we can, we can show off what we've learned. All right, you guys, here's what we're going to do. We're going to put on our game in hands here. Bada bing, bada bam. And we're going to head on over to the big screen. Here we go. Wow, here we are. And we'll do a cheeky little audio switch. There we go. Let's get into things. Nice, relaxing gameplay tonight. A set beasts. I'll just bob over. There we go. There we go. Oh, no, real estate. Yes, exactly. Property developers. See, they they, they they tried to tried to trick us, make us think they were just you know your average run of the mill vampires. But no, we we saw through their clever charade. So, Cassette Beasts is a indie game that's sort of a take on like monster collecting and battling games of old stuff like Pokemon and Digimon and Monster Rancher and, and stuff like that. But it's got a bunch of a uh, bunch of novel new mechanics, chief of which is this idea that you can fuse any two monsters together to create 
novel iterations, and the game actually has unique animated sprites for every single possible permutation of Mons, which is really cool. Now let's pick up where we left off, you guys. Look at that. There's our Vector Man, our surprisingly apt-looking little Pixel Man. And here we are, back in Harbor Town, right where we left off. Get the mouse out of the way, there we go. He looks just like us, I know! Isn't he grand? Isn't he great? It's our little, our little, how you say, um, what's the word? Ally. Haley. And we met one other fella who can help us on our journey. I believe we can swap between them when we need to. So, first things first, let's take a look at the map here. I know we've got a couple of quests. Look at that, quest log. Catch up on, on what we're supposed to be doing here. All right, we got main quests, we got side quests. We got so much to figure out, so much to look at. Head to the outpost, sign up to be a ranger, find and clear all the, all the land keeper association offices. Yes, yes, indeed. How'd you become a spaceman? Well, you know, pretty run-of-the-mill. Sometimes, sometimes, you know. Stations just need a, a, a full-time on-staff custodian. And, and, you know, that's what, that's what we're here for. Just to look after Harbor Station, keep it running, keep the cadets entertained. That's what we're here for. I wonder if I can focus any of these, and that would make it easier for us to... Ah, there we go. That's how you do it. Okay. Double check our party. So we got a few mons at the moment. I check out... Yeah, here we go. We've got a traffic crab, which I think is, is, a, is a pretty good looking mon. This might be my new favorite, just design-wise. How can I... And we can rename them, too. That's interesting. We'll have to... We should come up with some good names for all these different mons, you guys. Let me know if you got any suggestions about what we could name our traffic crab. And we've also got... Who else have we got here? Whoops. We've got a can devil. We've got a uh, dominoth, which I think is also very cool looking. I love those goggles. Has anyone ever told you you'd make a good voice actor or radio host? In fact, it's one of the most common, I guess, comments that we get here on the program. And we actually do occasionally run a little, you know, sort of talk show type diddly do that we like to do from time to time. We have other virtual streamers and guests on the show. Friends like, well, folks that you might have seen in some of our animated specials, like Jammy. We haven't actually had Jammy on for one of the talk segments yet, but I'm sure we will in the future. And then Kaylee's got her own special sirenade, which I dig the mic. I dig the sort of the sort of vocal aesthetic. Oh, we can even rename it. Interesting. Interesting. I want to work on leveling up our traffic crab at the moment. I think he's pretty cool. Wonder, I wonder. Let's see. Got a few good stickers. So here, here's one of the the coolest elements of gameplay in this. That I think really sets it apart from something like uh, Pokemon or something like that. Is that all of our moves, as you might say, like attacks and things like that, are considered stickers that we sort of apply to the different tapes that these monsters are recorded on. And we can swap those between monsters as well. So you never have to worry about, like, getting TMs or, or like, some sort of uh, learning tool or something like that. You can just swap them between. Uh, I think there are some uh, restrictions in terms of, like, type, like, elemental types and things like that. I still haven't figured that out 100%. Pinecone, because pinecones are spiky. True, true. He could be our little pinecone. All of you guys seem like so much fun. Well, we try our best. We try our best. In fact, you should check out our... I wonder if the command still works. YouTube page. You can actually see a bunch 
of the animated specials that we've done in the past uh, in a, I believe they're in a curated playlist, but most of them, if not all of them, actually feature Jammy as well, and some other folks that you might be familiar with. We tend to work with a lot of other space-themed virtual streamers, but, uh, but you know, we make friends all over the place. You know, try to be accommodating, try to be nice, try to be, try to be friendly. Your friendly neighborhood vector spaceman, as it were. All right, you guys. Let's get out into the world, and let's brush up on our skills by taking on a traffic rat. And you know what? We've never recorded a Carnaviper. What do I have? I do have some basic tapes. Let's use that over here. Meanwhile, we'll get Ailey to hit him with a sonic boom. So as long as you stay focused ooh, on making these recordings, I believe your sort of percentage chance continues to go up and up and up. There we go. Looks like we got him. Despite its grinning visage, the Carnaviper isn't actually a friendly creature. Very territorial and will attack anyone who approaches that it deems a threat, which tends to be everything and everyone. Nice. Another great find. Not a lot of stickers on it, not very tough, but you know what? We made new friend. Oh my gosh, I just realized you sound like the spine from Steam Powered Giraffe. That's so cool. <laughs> I don't even know what that is, but I'm gonna write it down on my handy dandy piece of paper that I keep nearby here. Spine. Steam Powered Giraffe. And I'm gonna go look that up later. And I will cross reference your. Well, reference. <laughs> A victory! A victory, even! Bum, 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 bum. And we got some, some scrap plastic, too. That's great. You have to hear him talking because he sings, too? Hey, that's another thing that we do around here. Every now and then, we'd like to do a little karaoke stream. Those tend to be fun. The only thing is, you won't see those show up on the YouTube page or on the Twitch uh, replays, because they tend to get copyright struck. So you gotta show up, uh, show up for those shows. They tend to be fun, too. All right, scored ourselves a new a Viper. That's great. Let's take on another one. Maybe we'll do an actual fight this time. If we can't get some XP. All right, let's use. And Sonic Boom's just a great attack all around. Hit him with that. Oh, look at that. Should be able to take out at least one. There we go. Oh, this is interesting. So this is something they briefly touched on last time that we were uh, that we were playing this game. I didn't really understand it at the time. So there's a whole lot of like status interaction effects and stuff to figure out. So melting a plastic type monster with a fire type attack releases noxious fumes, changing it to poison type. Now that's interesting. Coatings change the elemental type of character for a certain number of turns. Okay, so not permanently. I was about to ask, like, could we record it now and then would we have a permanent poison type cra traffic crab? But I guess not. Not a dub, but a V specifically for vector? Yes, indeed. Big Vs all around. Two Vs even. Oh, that's, that's a cool attack. Traffic jam. I love the little animations on all this stuff too. So it really reminds me of sprite wise, I guess um what would it be like? It'd be like the Pokemon Crystal or Heart Gold Sold Silver games, something like that. Now can we activate fusion? We can't yet. Our fusion bar, which I believe is that orange bar on the the right side of the tape there, has to be filled up first. Well, let's just, uh... Give him another, give him another smack. 
Oh, he's quick. Look at that. Bam. Okay, so Dominoth. So everybody sort of levels up at the same time, which I guess is nice. But I'm I'm quickly gonna lose track of everybody's abilities and such, I think. Dominoth gains. Dodge raises evasion. Okay. Cool, cool. I'll just check our party here. Like, is Dominoth also considered level 12? Or is it just... Maybe it's just the... Yeah, that, that might be the case. The companions and myself are considered level whatever. And then the apes themselves, the monsters within, don't necessarily have levels or anything like that. They just have stats. Traffic Crab does not have great stats, but I do really like him. I'd love to keep leveling him up. And maybe get a fusion going at some. Although Dominoth, if I remember... Oh no, that's right. This is what I did. I started messing around with the stickers last time they were playing. I moved all of my good, like, AoE stickers from Dominoth onto Sirenade, because I knew we'd want to be using Haley as our companion most of the time. This looks so cute and fun, I hope it blows up. Yeah, so it's available on Steam right now, and I think it came out like a month ago, or something like that. I didn't get into it right when it released, even though I'd been watching it for a while, because I've been working on uh, the last little animation we did, so I didn't really have a whole lot of time for streaming or games or what have you. Now that we got a little more free time, we're back into things. And yeah, I'm digging it. Let's see if we can't get at least one of those quests done tonight. We've got it marked on our map here. we got to go up two screens. Love that. that there's, like, interaction with stuff. We're going to dodge some of these. No, no, leave me alone, leave me alone. Aha. Oh, no, he caught us. Okay, a spring heal. You know what? I don't have a spring heal. So we may as well make a recording while we're here. Prevents opponent from directly targeting the user's allies for three turns. I think we'll just focus on the attacks. Big boom. Oh, yo! Instant KO. Oh, so close. There we go. A spring heel. Let's check out what he's got. Spring heels get their kicks by hiding behind corners under the cover of night or leaping out to surprise their victims. Here is they may make their wings out of old discarded rags. Yuck, they're so dirty. Oh, Kieran, how you doing? Welcome to Wednesday. Hey, Kieran. We're playing a little, how you say, cassette piece tonight. Yeah, so we catch them in cassettes, which I think is one of the, like... Let's see, it doesn't have great moves. Pretty fast, though. Now that we got that recording, and here's the thing. We don't really catch them, per se. Here's how it works. So we make recordings, which is kind of like a copy. So even when we make a successful recording, they still stay on the, on the field. So all these cassettes are like us transforming into copies of these, these monsters that we've encountered. But I think it's a, a, a pretty good, like, narrative conceit in terms of, like, recording these monsters on old tech. I really, I think, really think that's cool. I'm doing fantastic. Got the promotion you've been working hard for right on. Go, Kieran. Big cheers all around. That's our boy. That's our frog. That's what we like to hear. You've been working hard. You deserve it. Well done, Karen. Glad to hear it, indeed. Ah, take a drink. You'll have to tell us more about it sometime. Next time we get to ch 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 chit chatting. 
we're catching all kinds of monsters tonight. Now, I'll tell you what, if we run across anything frog themed, we're going to name it after you. That's for sure. Since I just found out we gave our, our little mons nicknames and what have you. So what happened here? A passive ability gain for our Carnaviper. That's cool. Now, I don't know how many mons we can keep in a party. Right now, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. It's like maybe we'll have room for at least one more. Or maybe then do our cassette start scrolling? Or can we only carry a handful of them on us at a time? Who can say? Who can say? We got a one star Spring Heel, two star Carnaviper. I like my Traffic Crab, but it's only a two star, and I don't know what those stars mean, and I'd like to figure out how to increase them. Maybe they'll teach us that at some point. But we're on a quest, Kern. A quest, a noble quest. Find new mons. And also. Ugh, head north. Apparently, there's stuff to do up there. Make this jump. Ah! Can't make that jump. Oh yeah, look at that. Parkour. Come, Kaylee. Adventure awaits. Ah, here we go. I want to use this so that we can recharge our tapes. We rest and spend eight wood... All of our stuff gets healed. I used to go camping a lot when I was a kid. Ireland has a bunch of great places to camp out. Should have known she was Irish. Look at her. Just look at her. My dad would drive the two of us to the countryside and we'd stargaze to get her. Camping with you makes me nostalgic for that time. Aww. I was never really big into camping. As a, as a youth growing up. Even though we were in the in the, in the north of Canada, where you'd think you'd get a lot of that done. I was a, I was a uh, member of the, uh, the Boy Scouts, though. So we did go on camping trips from time to time. Oh no, it was just never really, never really my jam. Outdoorsy. I was more of a, I was more of a sciencey guy. More about that space, you know. More about that, that, that clean, sterile, you know, modern environment. <laughs> oh, now here's something that might answer my own question: tape storage. We probably will have to start storing tapes at some point. We could drop off, like, a spring heel that I'm never going to use. I'm going to presume that those blue bars are like an XP bar. That looks like it. Looks like it. going to add him to my favorites. Because he's super cool. Onward to adventure. Now this guy looks like he's having a real time, a real problem. Fretting about hey, running you. back and forth. Uh-oh. What's this? Confident woman. You boys aren't normally bold enough to venture this close to our outpost. Why don't you get on out of here while this conversation remains civil? Some more of these. These errant, wayward monsters. Guess I gotta get my hands dirty. Hmm. We about to we about to observe a fight? What's happening here? Yo! How come we're not that cool? What the heck is this? Poison left over can be used to buy metal types to coat sharp points, allowing them to deliver extra damage to opponents. So oh, that's interesting. Characters with contact damage deal a bit of elemental damage. Okay. Whatever that thing is, is super rad, and I want one. He's in charge for a reason. Well, who is that? Is that where we're supposed to be going? Vis a vis becoming a member of the. What was it called? Let me check my. Quest log again. Head to the outpost in the park to sign up to the rangers. Yeah, that looks exactly like where we're supposed to go. We want to be a ranger. First, I want to figure out who this guy is. Okay. What's faster than running? Fast travel. Do it. Just press M to open your map, then move the cursor. One of the squares can be traveled to and press E. Okay, I wouldn't have known that. Thanks for the heads up. 
also fast travel to escape a battle you're too slow to flee. <laughs> like we're getting chased around by spring heels. I'll have to abandon some items to get away quickly, but it might just save your life. Thanks for the tip. Alright. Get low. I haven't seen one of those before. Get up here. Some sort of mechanism at play here. Is that a lever? Ooh. We can pick up rocks. That's cool. Click. There we go. Instant bridge. What do we got here? Water filled tape. Tape made of transparent plastic, sealed and filled with water. There are two buttons on the side that allow you to play a ring toss game while you're not using it. A very high efficiency rate when used to record water type monsters. Now that's interesting. I didn't know that we were going to get like specialty tapes. That's cool, like specialty balls. And Undertow hits the last fighter to take their turn before this move. Hmm. But it's got high power and very low cost. That's actually pretty rad. I wonder if I can apply that to anybody we've got on our team right now. Uh, inventory. Undertow. Apply to... We can apply it to Traffic Grab. That's going to take our Traffic Grab to the next level. What else can we do? Full story, that's not great. Heals the user a little bit. Kind of like Bite. Who can we give Bite to? Oh, we gotta give bite to Carnaviper then, right? That just makes sense. Spit, call for help, fire camouflage. Changes the type of the user, automatically used at the start of battle for zero AP. Hmm. But we can't apply that to anybody because we don't have fire types yet. Okay. Oh, that's cool. I think we're gonna have to fight our way up there, though. We don't have one of you. Come here, bud. Oh, he ran away. I didn't even consider that some monsters might not want to get into fights with us. We'll have to be we'll have to be sneaky if we want to catch one of those. What happens if we run off screen and then come back? Oh, what is that? What is that? Get over here. That's like a look at these palm bombs. Give me one. fire types, so they could probably use that, that diddly do that we had earlier. Okay, Ailey, you're going to sonic boom the whole team. Now, I wonder if using that water move would be, like, super effective on them. Air type attacks blow out fire type attacks, reducing the strength of their future attacks. Hmm. That's awesome. Come on, come on, give me the palm bomb. Look at that thing. It's level five. It's got nothing. What do you mean recording failed? Hey, 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 come on now. That's the first time I've ever seen it fail. You are going to give it another Sonic boom. That seems to be working pretty well. gotta be A, it's still alive. That's that's surprising. But oh, did we get it? Yes, nice. Bomb bombs usually universally considered to be one of the friendliest creatures in New World. If it weren't for their habits of accidentally setting anything and everything on fire, they make quite good pets. No, this is this is a fantastic companion. Look at him. Just look at him. Let's see, he can spit. Dog ears extend the duration of the target's status effects. That's kind of cool. Sticky tongue lowers their evasion and does a bit of damage. I'm sure we could. I'm sure we could do more than that. That's rad. Okay. 
Palm Bomb Counter Rat over here. Okay, so here we go. Tape store. When your party is full, tapes you record are put in a special storage compartment in your backpack. It can be accessed and moved to from your party when you're safe at a... Oh, when you're sat at a campfire. Or in the cafe. Tapes you don't want anymore can be recycled for s resources and stairs. Okay. Okay, so I guess we can only have... Six on hand. Yeah, we got XP. What do we get? Spring Heal Learn Bite. Got a bunch of other junk. Rad. Making gains. All right, get out of the way of that snack. Poppy's saying, I was watching your clips. What you said you want to do to Neff has me rolling. What, what? Talking about what? Shoving Neff down a, a flight of stairs? I'm sure I said that back in the day. See, this was before we really knew Neff. That's when we thought Neff was like, oh, this like, you know, this like cute design, like space streamer, like, oh, isn't she adorable? And then, then you, then you get to know her and it's like, ugh, ugh. <laughs> but no, Neff's great. Neff's one of our like most frequent co-hosts when we do the podcast type stuff and when we do co-streaming and when we do the animated specials, we usually give Neff a pretty big role because having Neff and, and Dragon and Vector as like this this comedic trio really seems to work for this kind of scripts that we write. All right, show me the map. We are still a bit southways. Well, we don't have any more of those elusive mole-looking fellas. I think I just saw something in the water. That's rad. You know what the game did say last time we were playing? Is that some beasts you'll only find at night. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Get tricked. Get tricked, idiot. Oh, it can jump! It can jump! I'm making a run for it. I'm making a break for it. Ah-ha-ha! Ooh. What's up, feller? Oh. Captain Wallace. You want to know what really separates us from the monsters? Yeah, they don't know how to use Walkmans. Oh, or, or infrastructure. Yeah, that, that, that might be a tool. Homes, walls, running water. Not enough to just build a community. You gotta maintain it, too. A place like Harbortown can fall apart without diligent care. I've always said... I'm Wallace. One of Harbortown's ranger captains. I oversee any building work on New World. Do you think we could make a, a, a Harbor Town station, perhaps? Then maybe we could be the, the custodian? Hmm. You look like you could handle yourself pretty well. Why don't you sign with become a trainee ranger? Man, I'm on my way right now. Give me a second. To chat to leader Ianth. I suspect she's Iantha? Yeah, I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce that name. I suspect she's at the Oast Post just north from here. Cheeky check for more monsters. Looks like we're clear. Let's a go. Uh oh. Huh? What's this? Trainer battle? Are you good enough to join the Rangers? Oh, it is a trainer battle. Look at this. A recruiter. Ah. Your traffic crab is no match for my traffic crab. Now it said the last fighter to make a move before this turn. Surely that wouldn't be my own teammate though, right? We'll find out. Zephyr. Undertow. Oh, it does! It does hit my own teammates! That's rough. Okay. So, don't use that on the first round until we figure out sort of priority. Okay, well, listen, I, I don't understand, like, how quickly stuff happens here, then. Ooh, 
What is this? A macabre. I look like a like a devil frog sort of thing. Yeah, like, I would love to see like a an order of operations, like showing me whose turn is next. Because how did that go? Kaylee went, then Vector went, then the enemy went. Presumably Kaylee will go again. I'm selecting Vector's move first. Okay, okay. Let's see if this if this works. Oh, but now it goes first. Then Kaylee goes, okay. Then Vector goes. wall. This thing keeps targeting Kaylee. Um, dot. Abramacabra. Oh, it put up a wall, too. Walls absorb a certain number of incoming hits. Type advantage attacks immediately break walls. Okay. Really dodging. Back to putting up a wall. A little Lego bricks. It's pretty cool. Alright, I don't know what is good against operant types. What's that supposed to be? But we'll see. Ugh. Double hit! So when our tape gets sort of exhausted, there's still a person under there. So we can still make use of other tapes. Vector's still alive. We just gotta switch to something like Hand Devil. Use a little bomb bomb blast. High attack, but very little accuracy. Yeah, see? Missed. Okay, ball is down. We got him this time. That's that's a rough attack. That takes out like half my health. And evasion's down. No doubt we got this. Get wrecked. Another classic victory. Air wall. Sacrifice 20% of HP to create a wall that will absorb... Okay. That's awesome. Traffic Crab gets multi-smack. Hits one target multiple times, so at least 60 damage, up to 100 damage. That's gonna be great. We're gonna use that. And Carnaviper raises melee attack. Okay, that's great. Nice. You should head inside. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. We're kinda great. We're kinda the best that we've ever seen around here. Yeah, well, we'll just make our way in. Thank you. Quality ranger material right here. Now, just let me swap out what I think my... Uh, here's the thing. Are we going to have another fight once we get in here? Is there a place where we can rest? Recharge our tapes? There's save point. That's what we're looking for. I guess not. I know I've got some recharge stuff in my inventory, but I don't want to waste it if we don't have to. Look at all these peoples. Sleeping on the job. What's good, rangers? I was ambushed by a spring heel hiding around a corner? Same! Frankly, I'm lucky to have made it in one piece. You need tapes. You need more tapes. Ayanthi. Okay, well, thank you for saying that out loud. Nice to meet well, you, newbie. What do you think of this outpost? Pretty sweet outpost. What do you do here? 
I'd like to tell you we defend the people of New World from a relentless horde of monsters. <laughs> Most of the time we're doing odd jobs for the community. Not that exciting. Sounds exciting. It's an important job. Haley can attest to that as one of our uh, more recent recruits. Oh! Well, 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 Vector and I just fought an archangel. Yeah, that, 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 that was pretty big. That was pretty big. That was, that was in episode one, you guys, of our playthrough. You can check it out over on, over on the YouTube. The, the, the YouTube.com slash at Vector underscore Spaceman. Is that so? We'll have to look into this. Archangels. Pretty sure Archangels exist, but our interactions with them have been, hmm, fleeting. Well... Maybe you should find, maybe you should find more. Vector should apply to be a ranger. That's what I'm saying. What do you think, Vector? Do you want to apply to join the rangers? What do I have to do? Rainies are tasked with meeting up with each of the ranger captains and overcoming their challenge. Oh, so this is this 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 is gym challenges, is what this is. <laughs> Since you're such a hot shot in monster combat, I'm pretty sure the captains are going to want to test your fighting abilities. But who are these ranger captains? I am new here. Yeah, you don't have to point it out. Come on, I, I just got it's it's my it's my first day, you guys. Come on, in a brand new world, train you who pass the trial become full time rangers. Kaylee, rangers have a lot of responsibility, but nothing that would put them in significant danger. Well, captains run the whole operation, try to maintain the community. The most dangerous situations fall on us. Result. All right, so they're the, the tippity top. I get it. Thank you. Take one of these. Ooh, what do we got? <gasps> we got we got a we got an ID. Look at this. Vector, Harbor Town, a Homo Sapien, Earth. Right. Just a stamp card. Every time you overcome a challenge, they'll stamp the card. When you fill it all out, come see me, and I can sign you off as an official ranger. Nice. So we got a, we got quest on quest on quest. Each captain has perfect, 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 perfected their own strategy in battle. It ain't just about raw strength. You're going to have to learn to adapt your approach as you go. Think you can handle it? I'm ready. That's a spirit. We got this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Train with each of the ranger captains to become a ranger. Aye, aye, captain. Find out where these rare captains are stationed by asking around at Harbor Town. <sighs> Come swing by headquarters, we'll do. Building with half a ship wedged on top of it, you can't miss it. Nice. We loot the place. Check this out. Hey, we got some tapes, we got some pulp. What's in the fridge? Hey. Ice latte. And a rewind. Awesome. That's what I was here for. Lore. We got some lore. Scribbled notes. If given a toy, this elven monster will not stray from its path. They'll but eventually be consumed by rain. Somebody out here filling out their 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 Pokedex. Anything cool round back? I've played a video game before. Yeah, there we go. Secrets. Your HP is above 80%. You receive an attack that would reduce it to zero. You survive with one HP. That's cool. Need to run into something that does that much damage, though. Huh. Drop this on monsters? Huh. Almost looked like he noticed that. Now, checking out my inventory. Where my tapes at? Where my tapes at? They said we've got blank tapes, consumables, miscellaneous, resources. I'm saying, man, we caught that that bomb bomb. How come I can't add it to my uh, my party? Okay, so you know what we were we were wondering last time. It says that there's 129 different monsters, but is that actually? So that's 129 individual monsters, and then there's 
fusion forms for every possible combination between each unique mon. That's pretty rad. Oh wait, hold on. Look at that. View fusions. 16,384 possible fusions. We have formed one. We have seen three. That's right, we saw these guys. And these guys fused up. And we made Dominoth and Sirenade into a Dominate. Our first, uh, our first experience with fusion. That's, that's an outstanding number of unique monsters. But you can kind of see what they do to, like, form them. Like, you can see Dominoth's, like, ear antenna diddly doos. You can see Sirenade's wings in there. And then they must have just, like, generic body shapes that they use as well sometimes. I think the fusion forms aren't quite as complex. And sometimes they'll borrow pieces from other mods. Like, you can see the same antenna on the Puppernoth, even though it's not made. Oh, but it is made of a Dominoth, so that makes sense. Okay, look at me. I don't know anything. Let's pull up another quest. Train with 12 captains. That's probably going to take a while. Maybe, maybe... We could take on another, another one of these real estate developers. <laughs> or we could go to the cave in the park and find out what happened to the merchant. That sounds like a good quest for us. And it's on the way to a campsite. Jeez. Oh, look, there's the guy that ran away. Get back here. Shucks. Can I open this? Come on. Also, this guy doesn't seem super jazzed about anything. Uh, I'd love to take him on, but I'd also love to... Uh, I feel like we can probably we can probably do it. Squirey. I know we're weak, but... Really want to get as many mons as we can. All right, do what you can, Kaylee. It's like it's like a, a like a fish ferret looking something or another. Bam, bam. Okay, focus down this guy. Ooh, Kaylee, you're still alive. Got him. Bom, 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 bom. The common squires often seem roaming the plains of New World, searching for opponents to battle. Despite their cute appearance, they're dedicated warriors and driven by an innate desire for self-improvement. Nice, nice, same. Pretty tough. It can smack, it can sharpen. We'll have to, we'll have to improve some of its moves. Just blast it real quick. Bam! And we're ready. Yeah, we got a little XP. Ooh, give the target a random debuff. Well done, Spring Hill. But here's the thing. The mons that you don't have in your party, then they won't level up. We really should get to that... How do you say? Campsite. Where's the campsite? Oh no, it's over there. We are going to have to... It's a, it's a real estate developer. That's a vampire if I ever did see one. He's not pleased. I don't want to step in front of him because I feel like this is how you get into fights. You gotta find a way around. We make it across the water? Nope. But we can swim. Oh? We 
making puzzles here? Plastic resistance. Passively reduce incoming plastic type damage. Negate any reactions that would occur. Does not affect critical hits. Okay, and we got more wood and we got more pulp. All right, but can I use this box? Stack it up. And then maybe we can hop up here. Where I want to be going. Come on, let me jump on it. Jump on it. Yes. Yes. Oh, we're so wise. So wise in the way of games. Yes, let's camp out. Swap out. Bomb bomb. I want to add them to the party. How come I can't add them to the party? I gotta remove from the party first. Can't just swap. Okay, that's that's an oversight. They should probably they should probably make that a little a little easier. Who do we not want? Uh, Dominoth. It kind of don't do a whole lot for us right now. So you're going in storage. Spring heal, same deal. Going in storage. And then let's. Look, you got storage by type. Bring a bomb bomb. Let's bring out Squirey. Beast types, that's what it is. Beast type. And we'll rest. Lose some hmm. wood. How do you feel about sleeping in the great outdoors? If I'm honest, if I'm honest, I'm more of an inside person. <laughs> That's unfortunate. You might have to get used to sleeping in a tent if you're going to be exploring the island. New World doesn't exactly have a local hotel franchise or anything. We're roughing it, you guys. We're roughing it. And tapes have been repaired. Excellent. Let's take a look at our party here. Let's take a look at our... our... stickers. What could we... Have apply to stickers here. Fire camouflage can't be applied to anybody still. And old breath. Should we give that to anybody? I think we need to apply this to anybody right now, because, hold on. Sirenade. I thought Sirenade already had an air wall. I guess not. Hmm. What could we get rid of? We'd have to swap one of these out, right? AP refund. I feel like we don't really need that. We'll replace that. And then you'll have an air wall that we can use so that traffic crab doesn't have to try and, you know, cover your butt. Show me... Bomb bomb can do. Spit, dog ear, sticky tongue. Okay. Let's take. I think I want to swap out Bomb bomb for traffic crab because Bomb bomb looks like he's pretty tough. We take the multi smack. Probably give the inflame at least a combo. Yeah. And the multi smack, just in case. You know what? Mom is never going to use the multi smack. Let's, let's give that back to Grab Grab. Toe. That's that's a super dangerous one. And I still haven't really figured out like the order of operations for for fights yet. 
We're gonna have to pay more attention to that. So let's swap that with Vector. There we go. Now we will spawn as a palm bomb instead of a traffic crab. Let's see how that works. Let's go get in some fights. We gotta head east. We're looking for some guy who's gone missing, yeah? Pressure plates. Move these rocks, we can move these rocks. This ain't our first time playing a video game, we got this. There we go. Need one more something that can hold pressure. Like a box. Or a rock. Or a companion. But for whatever reason, Haley doesn't trigger pressure plate. So, we'll need something else. Nothing over here. Way snake. On the hunt. The Deadlands, that's ominous. It's locked. I see a box down there. Could I carry it all the way back up? Uh, it doesn't look like it. that guy. The guy what? hiding in the corner. Oh, no! I've been honing my monster skills out here for months now. Come on, let me show you the results of my training. I'm kind of in a hurry. I've got a whole thing going on. Alright, fine. We'll make it quick. That goes first, then... Haley gets to go, then Vector gets to go. So if I gave that water move to Haley, that might actually be pretty useful. Put your bite on. Man, that thing it's real rough. You know what I should have done? I should have had Haley use the air wall. Get roasted. Masquerade. I like the look of that one. It's a poison type. Alright, Kaylee, throw up that air wall. Quick! Quick! Get toasted and roasted. Poisons found in New World tend to be flammable and can be ignited with a fire type attack. Well, this is great! We're super effective! Burn characters take damage at the end of their turn. No can do. Oh wow, it broke that wall real quick. Okay, this should be enough. Yeah. Here we go. Bomb bomb learned and flame, which we just taught to it anyway, so I guess we can give that other one back to uh, Traffic Rep. And Squirey learned Copper Chop. It's one target, looks Resonance on glass and metal type targets. What the heck is Resonance? Status effect, no doubt. <gasps> I still got a lot of training to do. Guess you do, champ. Now, if somebody help me find a box. Or maybe, maybe we gotta chase a monster. Or get it to chase us. First things first. Bomb bomb got bomb bomb's got two in flames. You don't need two in flames, so we're gonna peel that off. We're going to run back to crap grab. Take Undertow off of you. I'm gonna try... 
even that the Sirenade. We've never used Provoke. Let's take that off. Can you use Undertow? You cannot use Undertow. That's a shame. Alright then, let's give you... Uh, plastic resistance, why not? Little, a uh, little, uh... Passive buff, that's fine. Okay, because you are so important to the team... I guess we can use... A rewind on Sirenade. Bill, there we go. Alright, let's get one of these mons to chase us. Come on, come on, Snake. Come on, Snake. Right here. Right here. Don't you want to chase us? Right here. What are we missing? Hmm? What are we not getting? Gamer sense is lacking. Oh. Oh, shoot. Ran into him. Didn't mean to do that. Alright, quick fight. Sonic Boom goes first. Get the inflame off. Landing a fire type attack on an air type creates an updraft. There's so much interaction in this game. An air wall that can absorb a number of incoming attacks. Alright, so. We don't do that. We get walloped. My fire has been extinguished. We are just gonna spit now. Can't do that. Okay. And we'll just target down the one Dominoth if we can. Hey, look at that. Get spat. That, that Zephyr should be enough to take it down. It's still got the wall. It's still got the wall. Well, hold on now. Hold on. You didn't tell me. Ah, oh, shucks. All right. So it's a fire type that creates the updraft, not just the fire attack. That, 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 I, do, I, don't, I don't love that. That seems like a, like a, like a bad design choice. Here we go. Let's try the multi smack. That should help get through the the wall. Teeny, how are we? How are we doing? Our favorite smart hand. Nice to see you. We're playing a little monster collecting, battling, merging, fusion type game tonight called Cassette Beast. Came out about a month ago, but we haven't gotten a chance to get into it until just recently. But it's really pretty cool. It's got a lot of fun takes on the sort of monster collecting genre. I hope your Wednesday is going well. Thanks for tuning in. Hope everything's going well on Teeny's side of the world. Can't stay, work early tomorrow, so need to get some naps in, but want to say hi and wish you a great stream, buddy. Thank you so much, friendo. Teeny's such a pal. Thanks for the bits, everybody. Big, big, big old cheers for Teeny. Thanks for showing up, Teeny. Enjoy your evening. Get that nap in. You'll have a busy day, no doubt. And I hope we get to see you again real soon. Teeny's so rad, you guys. Darn time zones. True. True. We're definitely going to have to have Teeny on the program at some point in the future, you guys. I know we keep saying it. But Teeny's a really rad dude. From Sweden. That's why, our, that's, that's why the time zones are all messed up. But Teeny's actually got a really cool model that's always... Uh, that's, uh, that's sort of based around... Uh, a, a Mark V B Spartan helmet and and Spartan sort of look to him. And I've always enjoyed that being a being a, a big fan of uh, of Halo myself. Guys, let's do a shout out. If you're not following Teeny, make sure that you do yourself and all of us here at the station a favor by giving Teeny a follow. There we go. <laughs> oh my! Someone got exactly right. Exact man. It's 
we listen. We don't we don't skip on our on our our stupid Halo knowledge around here. Come on, that was that was like my jam as a young spaceman, reading all those books, playing all those games. Come on. Actually, got I got so involved that I used to make content for uh, Halo Custom Edition on the PC back in the day. The the Gearbox produced PC port of the first title. There was a whole big community back in the day, and man. Oh, what is going on here, Teeny? With the gift subs, thank you so much, Teeny. You know you don't have to do that, but we appreciate it. You guys, big shout out to Teeny again. Oh, Curran, you scored one of them gift subs. Thanks so much, Teeny. But yeah, guys, I mean, if you can't, if you can't visually tell, you know, the base Mark V from a Mark V-B, from a Mark VI, from a Mark VII Mjolnir armor, then come on, come on, can you really say you're a fan? Honestly. Of course, much love, Teeny, over and out. Thanks so much, Teeny. Again, I hope we get to see you again real soon, but have a great evening. Now, where were we here? Oh, that's right, we're beating up a moth. What do we do? What do we do? We... Uh-oh. What are we doing? We're fighting. Fight. We're gonna... Zephyr attack. There we go. Breaking that wall. Multi-smack. One, two, three, four. Another stunning victory. And we got wood, which is great. Because we are we are really using those those campsites. Okay, let's hop down here. I think we need to find something we can use. To, oh, what the heck! Look at this. We were in a fight too long. Now, oh wait, guys, are we dumb? Look, there was a rock right over here. We just couldn't see it on account of our bad eyes. We gotta get this. We gotta get this visor cleaned. Blech. Oh, Kern, if you're still here, check this out. I don't know if you noticed just how vector-like our little sprite man looks. The game's got really, really cool character customization. We were able to make a dude that looks almost like a real vector spaceman. Super pleased with that. All right, looks like we're about to get in a fight. Should we heal up before that? How are we doing? Our palm bomb is down for the count. So we'll swap out with traffic grab. We probably got this fight, right? We probably got this fight. Oh, <gasps> startled. <laughs> May the guiding light of Leader Dorian show you the way. Leader who? Sorry? Aw, oh, no, this guy's in a cult. Now, why can't we record when it's a person taking on the form of a monster? Because it's still a monster, and it's not like we're stealing it, because they still... Anyways, some of the game just doesn't make sense from a, a lore perspective, I guess. But that's fine. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to inflame, because it's decent damage. And we're going to Zephyrize. And we're going to get smacked. Look at that. So Zephyr, the Inflame, and yeah, we may as well just keep doing that because those are our best attacks here. Nod, melee defense down. Okay, that'll take down his first form. Let's see what else he's got. Oh, he's literally called Cultist. Oh, and that's all there was to it. Not even a problem. And Devil gets taunt. I've never been one for like status moves. The way has been lit. Go forth. Okay, maybe I will. <laughs> Kaylee's not impressed either. What was that guy talking about? Maybe you. Let's talk about another time. Okay. Oh, so you know something that I don't, huh? Soul Island is bad news, you guys. 
click. All right, there we go. We figured it out. We're clever spacemans. The New World Park Caves. Wow. I think the townsfolk used to mine stuff down here in the past. No longer? We got, what do we got? Rocks. We got, it's like a lift. Can I go up? Are we looking for a switch? Walk off? I can walk off. Let's not do that. Ride this up? Yet, huh? There's something in the way here? Can't move that out of the way. Hmm. Well, what on earth are we supposed to do then? Cross or nothing, can we? No, nothing in range. What about the other side? I would love if we could manually change the camera. Oh, shoot. Maybe we just got to get into a fight or something. bringing down the house. I step up here. Do we exit? Just exit? We just exit. Okay. Well, that's not great. Want to explore. We gotta find a guy. It's our what the heck? Well, now I want to figure out what this is. Terracookas. <laughs> they're like little terracotta dolls, but they're chefs. All right, so obviously, obviously, we're recording one of these. Meanwhile, you do your sonic boom. Ooh, they're tough. Oh, story. Ooh, I've been burned. I've been terribly burned. Why me? Failed. Shoot. All right. One more time. Lost the sonic boom. All right. And Haley knocks it right out. Oof. Come on! Come on! Come on! So I guess you gotta get it within a whole round of combat. That's how these work. Now I think we're all out of blank tapes too, except for that water type one that I don't really want to waste. All right, well, let's inflame this one and we'll let Haley deal with the other one. Ooh, that did some damage. got here a bite attack power 80 hits one target heals the user a little bit afterwards that's that's pretty good bomb bomb zoomies <laughs> hits one target takes priority over other moves hmm squire gets a fairy stance reflect the first melee attack received this round that's kind of cool but will that always trigger before This is the question. Can't blind these or nothing. I don't know how these are supposed to work. But I'm noticing that, you know, there's one less mob, I guess you might call it, or group of enemies down here. So can we... 
clear them both out, and then maybe something will happen? Only one way to find out. Okay, so don't fire attack the air type, because it creates an updraft. I think that's how it works. We'll take out the Terra Cooker first. And we can multi-smack? No, not multi-smack. Regular smack. Yeah, that ought to be all we need. Whack. Get God. Okay. We got wheat. Decent. Now there's one more group of enemies, it looks like. This guy here. Uh, it's it's just it's kinda just a hunch. The only thing I can think of is just clear out all the enemies, and then maybe something will happen. A star degrade? Well, that sounds like something we gotta have on our team. But we ain't got no more tapes. Okay, we can inflame beast types, and I don't even know what type that is. But there's something on the screen that's telling me something might happen. Something goes up. Let's find out what that is. Tonic Boom. Energized. Astral types draw their power from the four elements. Fire, earth, air, and water. Ooh, so we're, we're buffing it with these... These attacks. Okay. Characters with AP boost gain one extra AP each round. Yes, I know how that works. This guy's getting super energized. AP drained. Astral types drain power from targets of the four elements. Huh. Well, that's rough. Okay. Um. We can just do regular attacks though, right? That should be fine. Should be all right. I guess we'll just dodge. What else can we do right now? We gotta wait for our AP to come back. The initial harmony of astral types can be thrown into disarray by exposure to impure elements. Plastic, poison, and metal. Okay, so our just regular old static attack becomes plastic type because we're a traffic crab. And that gets rid of all his boost, I guess. Or some of it, at least. Hibernate. Heal each turn that there's... Aw, oh, man! This is cheating. Right, let's take care of Squirey, then. You stay dodging. There we go. Nice, nice. Sleep talk. Multi smack. And stay dodging. I, I think that hardly did anything. Stay multi smacking. And have we got anything? We got enough for a Zephyr, but that's an air-type attack. So, is it gonna do enough? It's gonna do some damage. And what do we got here? One, two, three. That was pretty good, that was pretty good. I mean, it's, it's minimum three hits, right? The multi-smack. Hits three to five times, so it's a minimum 60 damage, so that's as good as our inflame. So we may as well always go with that one. Damn. And the Zephyr does still do damage, even if it buffs him a bit. So we'll, we'll definitely get this guy down. Bam. 
out of here. Three. 60 damage. Stunning. A stunning vector. And we got more wheat. We're finding a lot of a lot of, of the, the foodstuffs down in the depths here. Okay, we've cleared out monsters. They just keep coming. I mean, now that I'm really complaining about the kind of XP gains that we're getting here. Hey, what the heck? We got, hey, I made it. Icebreaker. It's one target, lowers the target speed. And a basic tape. That's pretty rad. can learn Icebreaker here. Nobody. Awesome. And who can learn Undertow? Still just... Still just Traffic Crab. But because Sirenade always goes before Traffic Crab, we're, we're, we're just damaging ourselves, unfortunately. Gotta switch up the composition of our team. Okay, is it possible that I missed this guy and he's the... Like, I don't think this is the solution here. But what the heck else are we, are we meant to do here? Obviously, we gotta find a way to raise up these platforms or something. It's entirely possible that we're just too early down here. That we're not gonna be able to find this guy. Go to the cave in the park and find out what happened to the merchant. Well, if we can't progress through the cave yet, is it because we haven't really... discovered some sort of gameplay mechanic yet? What else can we get up to? We went to the outpost, we signed with the arranger. We gotta find these landkeeper associations, yes. We gotta get a lot more wood. The only other thing we can do right now, trembling ground. I heard a rumor that the ground under New World Park sometimes trembles as if a large vehicle is passing underground. What do you think's down there? We can go check that out. I think we're gonna get much else, much else done down here. But we'll do one more fight just to get some XP and maybe some more wood that we're trying to get still. That should be fine. Now we're gonna inflame because fire does well. Against poison types? Ow. Oh wow, one hit KO, not even a problem. We got pulp, we got wheat, we got wood. Alright, let's skedaddle. If we come back here and we find out it was some dumb mechanic or something that we just missed. How silly are we gonna feel? Let's heal up all of our stuff. Uh... Oh, you gotta tell me some stuff. Well, Dish, let us know. Probably think worse of me when I finish. Well, go on, go on. When I first came to New World, I didn't live in Harbor Town. Hey, me neither. I just sort of washed up on the beach. There's another settlement at the top of Autumn Hill on the East Coast. Morning Town. But morning like morning like morning. With a U. It's a community of people living off the land, sharing possessions, all that cute stuff. I've seen the folks walking around in their hooded... Oh, we're getting some background here. Yeah, we've seen them. That's them, and I guess I was one of the ones... She was in a cult. Things didn't used to be that weird there, but... Leader Dorian, he's obsessed with Archangels. Morning Town was founded with the intent of helping everyone, but it soon just became about what he wanted. That's that's classic cult behavior. I reached a point where I didn't feel at home anymore. It was too late for me to fix anything, so I ran. That's how I ended up in Harbor Town a year ago. I want so desperately to do right by everyone. 
Hawks have let so many people down in the past. But Dorian knows about the locations of other Archangels. I need to put my fears aside and find out what he knows. They don't let outsiders into the commune. But they should still remember me. I think I'll be able to get us inside. Alright, we got our ticket in. Are we in this together? Sure you want to do this? I am. It'll be hard, but I want some good to come out of everything I went through. Okay. Such a good companion. Mark the entrance of the commune on your map. Nice. But there's some stuff that we wouldn't really progress through story-wise unless we kept going back to these camps then, huh? Remember, they'll only let you in if I'm with you. Got a little Chivo for that. Start Kaylee's quest. Okay, bring Kaylee to Morningtown. Let's rest up. Hey. I never asked you how you're finding that first monster form I gave you back on the beach when we first met. Oh, the, uh, the, um, the, um, yeah, she gave me the, the hand devil. It's a pretty fun monster form. When I've used it in the past, I felt like I was in a permanent sugar rush. I got the feeling that range attacks were more effective than that form. The hand devils have a naturally good aim. Take some time to get used to how each monster form changes how your own body feels. It seems to me like you're doing a cracking job at learning the ropes, though. Doing a cracking job! Our broken tapes. All repaired. Oh, what's this? Certain tapes can be remastered when they reach five stars. Remastering tape evolves it into a more powerful form. Ooh! Stats will grow and they'll learn new moves. Some forms can only be obtained through remastering, and in some cases, the remastered tapes can be different depending on various conditions. Remaster tapes whenever you can. Well, that's cool. Evolve your monster forms. Okay, so we got a five star can devil. Yeah. In which field do you wish to stay? Well, this is interesting. Alchemy or machinery? Let's go machine can devil. Zerom. A Ven Demon. Look, it's like it's got a little helmet like we do. A can devil that has built itself a suit of protective armor out of metal and glass. It's been theorized that they're strange attires and attempt to resemble astronauts, but no one knows for sure. Oh man, you're back on the team. Ven Demon. Right, what can you what 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 uh, what 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 can you do here? Smack. Sugar Rush, right? Bomb -ball, Bomb Ball Blast is pretty good. Raise arms, raises the user's range to attack. Okay. Elemental Wall and Taunt. It'd probably give you some better move. Range attack 120. Melee attack 110. Like compared to some of our other mons, like it's way better than Bomb Bomb. Five speed on Sirenade. Be quicker than Traffic Grab, too. And Demon might be our new go to guy. We gotta find good moves. Good moves. Let's get rid of Elemental Wall. Now we'll get rid of it. And what can we give you? Ooh. Bite, that'd be pretty rad. Oh, help, spit, sharpen, final breath, AP refund. Definitely bite. Chance to. Recharge. Would be great. Let's take uh, let's take raise arms out of here. Do an AP refund. Then maybe we can take traffic crabs, multi smack. But you know what? That's a that's a three cost one as well. We need something with a consistent two cost, like in flame. Let's 
Let's take it off a combo. Zoomies, what did that one do again? Hits one target, right. Let me take Inflame off of Combo. Maybe give it to Ven Demon. Take off. Uh, off Taunt. And use Inflame. Nice. Okay. Ben Demon. You're our new go to guy. Swap you with Graphic Grab. And we're back on the road. Okay, map. Open up. Gotta go here, up here. It's nighttime. Who knows what we'll encounter? Skirt by whoever that is. Did you know snakes? Haha! -ha. We're too slick for you. Must open these gates? Sure can. We can go swimming, right? Oh, I'm sorry, we can only go swimming in some spots. My bad. A lot of people around here. Oh. Uh-oh. Hey! That was aggressive. Newcomer, heed not the heathens of Harbor Town. Oh great, it's more it's more of these dudes. More cultists. Not to worry. A level 12 scale evangelist. That's a pretty rad one. Oh, we can fuse now, too. We should probably save that for important stuff, but I'll bet it would look great. Okay, Vector, you are going to inflame. Haley is going to Zephyr. Aw, oh, yeah. Aw, oh, yeah. East wall. Okay. And we... Eh. We'll just we'll just fight through it, I think. Should be able to get to get through it by the next turn. Yeah, there we go. Okay, classic in flame, classic Zephyr. Easy fight, easy fight. Uh. Ugh. some pulp, some wheat, some wood. <laughs> Heretics control Harbor Town. Beware their false salvation. We're just trying to have a good time, man. Alright, we got rocks. We're supposed to be up here looking for some kind of underground disturbance, right? I don't see no... No hole in the wall, no nothing. Ugh. Make a little circle. Oh no, it's this guy. Brand around here trembles all times. Some huge beast rushes through a tunnel below our feet. Say, these rocks are arranged in a strange pattern, huh? I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. Do you think if we made them more like a, like a circle? Like kind of like a, a hexagon, almost? I think that maybe, you know, maybe, maybe that could be... Oh, wait, hold on. That goes there. That's got to go there, right? They gave us a little... Aha! Uh -huh. Visual cues. Woo, look at us. Old train stations. Right! Got in quite a bit of trouble last time we came down one of these. I haven't forgotten about the first time we uncovered one. Gloucester Road Station. Never seen mushrooms like this before. Can we pick them? Can we take them? 
But eat him. Lick him. Nothing. Well, shucks. That camera switch is a little disoriented. No worries. Ah, oh, we're gonna need some of those boxes, huh? Yoink. So I'll be walking forward, but then it'll switch and I'll stay walking left. It's good that the game sort of compensates for that, but... Open sesame. Nice. Alright, tell me I can hop up there. there. Another box. There we go. Oh. It's down here. More button. Nice. Oh. We gotta have something on here. Oh, oh come on. I got I got blindsided by a fight. Okay. Uh we're gonna inflame the corner viper. We're going to sonic boom the whole team. Oh, he's getting hyped up. Ho ho ho! One hit KO. Cool story, bro. Uh, we could do a bite, but we don't even have to do a bite. But you know what? We may as well do a bite to do that extra bit of damage. Get chomped. Then Demon is really, really coming in clutch. Hey, we gotta find a box or something. Stick on there. Aha! That's a lever. Or is it a lever? Lever, lever. Get away, get away, get away. Ah! I'm busy. Okay, alright. I guess we'll have a fight. Play fired. So when it takes fire type damage, obviously stuff goes up. Ooh. Learning so much about this game. I like that uh, status effects don't last longer than the fight itself. That's very helpful. I don't have to worry about uh, you know, getting burn damage while I'm walking around or something like that. Like other games. Oh, lick. There we go. Oh, look at that. Look at those moves. up. Can't open that up. I can sure press buttons. Okay. Step the clap. And let me guess. There's another button up there. I can already see it. It's going to raise up the other platform and we're going to be able to get across. Such, such dungeon design, though. One last button. What's it gonna do? What's it gonna do? Ah. Open up that diddly-do. The heck was that? A wing loom? Oh, there was a dude inside there. This guy looks very... He's an electric type. Are you sure I've got... I have got one basic tape left. Let's use it. Get scanned, idiot. This might not work. Conducted. Air conducts electricity, increasing the scope and range of lightning-type attacks. 
Ah, so does that mean his single target attacks will become multi-targeted? Attacks from characters with multi-target target the whole team. Yup. So that, yeah, it hits both of us. Great. Air types, weak to future lightning type attacks. Ooh. Okay, that tape did not work. So instead, let's just do incredible damage. Uh, on second thought. Man, all we have is air attacks. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to commit to those. Get chomped. Get some health back. There we go. No good being conductive. You ain't got no HP left. What do we got here? A missing part for an old ticket machine. Fireproof. Massively reduce incoming fire type damage. Fuel. Fuel. What the heck is that? What the heck is that? A fauceteer. I wonder if we could get him. With that, uh... That, uh, how you say... Water-type tape we got. And let's inflame the pot. Sonic boom the whole team. And then in the next round, we'll consider using the tape. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Ow. Corroded. Water type attacks corrode metal type targets, which makes them brittle. There's so much to this game. Whole story, bro. We're gonna smack the Terracotta? Would that work? No, we're gonna smack the boss tier. Zephyr. Terracotta. Bam. Look how weak it is. We're definitely gonna get this recording. Get sprayed. Ooh. Build tape. Let's use it on the Fauceteer. And you are going to put up an air wall. Just to, just to protect yourself, I guess. Or protect Vector? Would that be better? Yeah, because then he won't take any damage. Look at that. Haley is really having a hard time of it. Nice! Fauceteer. Ability to project powerful streams of pressurized water is tied directly to their emotional state. They're very easily startled and upset, which leads them to often unexpectedly use their water attacks without intending. They got anxiety, you guys. Goodness gracious. Pretty strong ranged attack, and we could definitely, definitely Give it that, uh, that undertow attack. Level up, nice. Okay, so we got a little part. Nothing else going on down here, though. My inventory. Machine part. A missing part for an old ticket machine. What are we going to use that? We'll have to skedaddle. Get out of here without another fight? Yeah, 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 yeah. There is a whole other side of this place, too. It's not for. Ah, that kind of looks like an old ticket machine, doesn't it? Something. Uh 
Aha! Machine part. We got our train ticket. Old train ticket. Ochester. Is this wizard? Graphic crap. <laughs> Aha, Vector and Kaylee, I've been waiting for you. It's a magic crab. Look at it. What? Please do not liken me to the mindless traffic crabs out there. I am magic Called it. I absolutely called it. I am magic crab. We love magic crab. Indentured. I'm going to take a screenshot of that. Traffic crab. Magic crab. Indentured servant to the infinite Merline. Long may their trains run on time. To dwell amongst the hallowed halls is a privilege too grand for me to convey. To serve their passengers is the least I can do. Which is to say, you tell me where you need to go, I'll get the train at platform A ready. Many of the Merline, get it like Merlin? The Merline stop are currently inaccessible. They will become available once their stations reopen. Ah, so it's a fast travel system. Gotcha. First, you'll only be able to travel back to the Gramophone Cafe. However, each station that you reopen adds a new destination for you to use. Super duper. Now, what can I do for you? I want to leave New World. Can you help me there? Platform B is what we use for interdimensional travel. However, all departures through Platform B have been cancelled for the next 642 years. So there's... Uh, we just gotta wait it out. Merline tells me it's something about its psychic contagion, or possibly a war. I'm pleased to inform you that arrivals at Platform B are running on time. So, people show up, but they can't leave. Tell me about yourself, Magic Crab. Indentured servant... Yes, 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 we, we saw that. Like you, I'm not native to New World. However, any here who have known me, Merline has assigned me to act as your guide to their railway network. Okay, that's, uh, we're all good. We're all good, Magic Crab. We got a ticket to ride. We got a ticket to ra ha hi. We got a ticket to ride, but we don't care. Duh. Pressure here is overwhelming. Felt like this when Morgante first appeared. True. It's like really loud noise here, but I can't hear it. You know what that tells me? It's time to make sure. Ugh. I mean, we got other other tapes and still use, but I don't think we have any rewinds, do we? we got a respool. Who's that one? No, they got to be absolutely wiped out. Uh, all right. Well, maybe we can get one move in. There is a big fight here. Gotta hop down here. Is there gonna be another angel fight or something? Or just a train? Oh boy, what the heck is this? This guy sucks. Gives me that horrible feeling I had when we fought Morgante. I'm looking at it all wrong. Well, it, it looks wrong. Are you more toys for my collection? Sorry, more our plaything. Uh... Yeah, eyes are creeping me out, too. You two will make a fine pair of glove puppets. Yeah. Alright, time for a big old fight. Archangel Poppetox, Master of Puppets. I think now might be an exceptional time to fuse. Fusion. Ha! Wow, we do not have great combined health, do we? Let's go for a bite, so we can get some health back. Effigy, Hoppatox. Gotta take these out first, maybe? Oh, he switches places. All right, well, fine. I'll take that, I'll take that. A peace deal, a peace deal. Oh, you get two attacks? Come on. All right, we're gonna keep fighting as much as we can. Swapping places again. We are, we are calling these. I do not want to get clobbered. Thank you. Oh my goodness. 
Cut it out, man. Alright, we're gonna keep keep the bite up. Come on, swap again. Yeah! The old one, two, the old razzle dazzle. Oh, we've still got, we've still got it. Still got a bit of health left. We go for this one this time. What are the odds, right? Oh, we called it wrong. We do still get some health back though. All right, seems like he's always going for the same spot. Unless it's just really, really bad luck. Oh, so that knocks out. Oh, we we may just uh, may just lose this fight here. We lost both Ven Demon and Sirenade. All right, what can we do? We can go with Traffic Crab, right? Because yeah, Traffic Crab's got some biz. And then let's go with. Let's see. Uh... Arna Viper, then we'll use Haley's turn. To re-spool Ben Demon. There we go. Come on. Oh, now you go that way. Sure, sure. Trip. Speed down. Okay, but because we got two, we can guarantee at least one hit. Oh, no! Didn't even get a chance. Oh, Kaylee's just down for the count. We are not going to win this fight, you guys. We'll be able to switch back to Ven Demon. He's gonna switch places. Yeah. So we can take out those effigies. That's good to know. Stop stealing my AP, Mang. Revenge strike. Oh, come on. Feedback. Oh, these are so tough. Should have come at this. Should have come at this with, with full health. Now we got we got bomb bomb, which isn't great because I took his in flame off to put on other other monsters. Uh, let's see. Takes priority other over other moves though. So can I use that? Oh no, he's still gonna switch places. Okay. So when we hit the effigy, we take damage. But at least we know he always switches places, so as soon as we take out one, we just target the effigy. And oh wait! He didn't switch places that time. Did I mess that up? Man. Alright. Targeting Popatoxa. That time it worked. Okay. Yeah, give me the old one too. We're just we're just sort of running out the clock here. Okay. The battle was lost. Oh, we dropped a whole bunch of stuff too. So we lose a whole bunch of items. That's the first time we ever lost a fight. Had me worried there for a moment. You're lucky you had a friend to get you back to my clinic in one piece. Take these with you. Hey, free rewinds. Well, be wise to stock up on healing supplies before you go. I'll trade you restoratives for any resources you have on hand. And so will Clements at the gramophone. Careful, you won't end up back here anytime soon. If we're careful. But you know us. Welcome. Okay, so we can buy respools and rewinds. Alright, give me as many of those as I can get. 
do one of them. Let's see deodorant. All monsters. Oh, okay. Poison cures, burn cures, sleep cures, so status stuff. Nice. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. Well, you know there's a big fight waiting for us. But I think for tonight, we're probably gonna end it there. We got a lot done. We 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 learn to appreciate some other members of our party. Ben Demon really turned out to be a great a great beast. We're gonna have to remember to go into that fight with a full fusion bar and full health, so that we can, how you say. Make the, make, make the most out of the fight. I think the idea is we'll probably have Sirenade use that uh, that AoE attack. What's it called? Sonic Boom or something like that. Yeah, Sonic Boom. Target everything. Try to get rid of those effigies. At least one so that we can predict where it's going to be moving. That'd probably be key. That'd probably be the plan. But that'll be for next time, you guys. When we return, we'll just do a quick, quick we'll save here. Bada bing, bada bam. Next time on Cassette Beast. But as for now, let's head on back to the main screen, you guys. Let me just, uh, let me just toggle down the volume here. Let's head on back. Time to close out the show. Want to say a big thanks again to Teeny for showing up and gifting all those subs. That was super duper appreciated. Such, such a supporting friend of the show. And all the more reason that we're going to have to have Teeny on for, some, for something special in the future. Now, this is going to be our last show for the week, you guys, so I hope everybody has a great weekend. Enjoy it. Get out, enjoy the weather if and, if and where you can. And before we go, of course, we like to take a quick, a quick little gander over on Twitch, see who else is streaming tonight. I think what we'll do is we'll go say hi to, go say hi to Pom, our friend Pomato Master, and fellow, how you say, Canadian and participant in all of our animated sketches. Do a quick shout out before we do that. Pomato Master, make sure you're following the Pom. And it looks like she's playing some Mass Effect Andromeda tonight. She's been playing a whole lot of Mass Effect games lately. I think she's working her way completely through the series. I'm late. How did you like Cassette Beast? Buffy, I'm really digging it. We got our butt kicked tonight by a, by a, by a rogue archangel. But uh, we, 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 we managed to record a few new beasts. It's, it's very charming. Very relaxing. I dig it. There's some quality of life stuff I think they could work on. There's a lot of like status and type interaction that I have to try and keep in mind when I'm doing attacks and things like that. There's a lot to this game, but it's, it's it's definitely, definitely one that I'd recommend. Especially if you just want something to play on your own time. I think maybe it's not the best game for streaming, but we're going to continue to stream our, our experience with it. But it's definitely a good game just to, to like play on your play on your own time, on your own terms. I recommend it to anybody who's looking for, you know, a nice little indie transformative take on the monster battle and collecting genre. You guys should check it out, definitely. And big shout outs to Buffy. How are you doing tonight? Thanks for tuning in. We're just about to send everybody off for the evening. We're going to go say hi to Pom. So remember to say nice things, you guys. Remember to say that Spaceman sent you. All right. And that's it for us this week. Until next time, of course. No matter what life throws your way, good luck and Godspeed, you guys. This is Vector Spaceman saying farewell. Enjoy your weekend. We'll be back again next week. Same time, same place, 8 p.m. Eastern, right here at Harbor Station. We'll see you guys real, real soon. Take care. All right, bye-bye, you guys. Stick around for that raid. Because we're about to send you off for some more great content for your evening. Of course, as always, take care. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Have a great weekend. Later, everybody. So long.